Welcome, my beautiful souls. Um, it's interesting. Today, I am, like, I have this urge to do a reading, but I can't put my finger on, like, who should I be doing a reading for? Like, a sign, all signs, you know, love. And I keep getting, just do the reading, do the reading. So, I'm just going to do a reading, and... Um, I feel like it's going to reveal itself, so some kind of story is going to reveal itself. It doesn't happen very, very often where I don't know, like, what I'm going into, so whatever it's going to be, we're going to let it be. Um, I am going to bring the lid down. There we go. Uh, I am using, well, I brought out the Romance Angels in case we come across love. Um, Mother Mary, for her beautiful words of wisdom, we'll start with her. The Gilded Tarot, to clarify or go deeper. And for the main spread, um, I'm using the Universal Tarot. And again, I'm just letting the story reveal itself, or whatever it may be. All right, let's start with Mother Mary. I have to say, today, like, today has a certain energy about it. Like, it is, like, really overcast here, uh, gray. It's just a day. It's like a weird day. Um, and then I felt this urge to do this reading, but yet I couldn't pinpoint, again, like, what's it for? So, so we'll see. All right, so we have Joy. By enjoying this moment, I am giving thanks to God for my life. Joy. Be strong. I pull myself up when I do what needs to be done. Be strong. Joy. You know, joy is like optimism. I just get this feeling like, um, like right off the bat, I'm picking up like different, different energies of like some saying, you know, yeah, joy, where, how, and the other is like, it's within you, it's choice, it's optimism, you know, the truth. Be strong, like I gotta keep doing what I'm doing. You know, I keep I gotta find a way. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So we will put them over there. And let's bring okay. in the universal trout. We have the Eight of Swords. It's like a denial. Refusal. Maybe a refusal of it, like a new beginning. Um, you know, this is called a self-created prison. Like an internal energy. Maybe that's why I felt like with joy, I was, I was, I was feeling to myself like, um, like, is that, that's an option. You know what I mean? Like, I control that. So, you control this also. And, you know, the other side of this energy is freedom. 
So, self-created prison. An eight, new beginning. We have the Page of Pentacles. Looking right at the Eight of Pentacles, or the Eight of Swords. I was like, well, you've been learning. You know, you've been learning. Good and bad. Easy and hard. You know, in the Eight of Swords, it's like she has a blindfold on. And it's like, you know, I just don't want to face something, but that doesn't make it not so. Do you know what I mean? And then the Page of Swords feels like almost like a, like a messenger. Maybe a messenger from above who's saying, you know, but this is what you've been learning. You're learning through this. You know, in some way you're expanding. And then you have the full. Interesting how they're all looking at the Eight of Swords. A new beginning. Well, just like I said, on the other side of the Eight of Swords is freedom. And wiser than I've ever been. You know, it looks like the fool is like heading towards a lesson, but like with no worry, like, like I can pass this. You know, Mother Mary's saying, be strong. I can see that in the, this, um, Prince of Pentacles. Right, it's like a path of knowledge. Interesting how I'm not getting any cards. Right, I'm not getting any cards. Look at this. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. It's like your universe. It's like the universe is like boom. Like here's an answer. Here's a way. Connected right to the full. It's like the means. Maybe it's the wisdom. You know, the Ace of Pentacles to me means like, you know, something coming into your physical world. It's being mirrored by the Eight of Swords over here, so it's almost, I don't know, it looks like here. Maybe I could deny this where I feel like the fool. It's almost like I got this Ace you know, in my in my knapsack, I already have the ace to pass the to pass the, the class. So is it like two different perspectives? Anyway, ace of pentacles definitely feels like the way, you know, like something opening up, like. Maybe you have a new idea, and it's like the funds, like boom, they're there, or the way. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Under the Eight of Swords is the Nine of Swords. So, this is like the walls of the Eight of Swords. They're like growing. Right into the Nine of Swords, which is a lot of worry. Hmm. You know, but the meaning of this card is unnecessary worry. 
but it's a worry nonetheless. So it's like if I question, if I'm in the Eight of Swords, you know, maybe there's a new beginning like showing itself and maybe for some reason I'm afraid to take it. I feel like it's it's saying, but you have this wisdom. You know, and the swords feel more like my thoughts. You know, what's what's holding me back, what's blocking me. And I, you know, because I feel like in the Eight of Swords, where it is a self created prison, if I take the blindfold off and I'm like, you know, in the present moment, let's say, you know, try to put the walls down. Again, Nine of Swords is unnecessary worry. The Fool is like the past is the past, the wisdom of the past, so. You know, that that's what, like, I feel you can bank in. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Well, I do know. I feel like this is about being very like clear in your present day moment like just be clear you know what I mean like don't be thinking you know too far out in the future and don't be thinking too far back in the past you know what I mean because like something new with it within the folds of energy which is about a new beginning but like the money and the wisdom is like right there taking a leap of faith mm. king of pentacles interesting under the page of pentacles is the king of pentacles so can be a virgo taurus capricorn it's interesting i feel like i'm losing my voice no this is not the king of pentacles this is the emperor Mm, card of Aries. Can be a father figure. You know, it's almost like I'm pregnant, I'm afraid to tell someone. Interesting. I thought he was the King of Pentacles, and then out comes the King of Pentacles. Look at that, though, with the King of Cups. And the King of Pentacles. There's a lot of masculine energy down here. Some of you, there may be a choice in front of you. You know, maybe between these two kings. Like one offers me this, but the other offers me like stability. I mean, there is the Ace of Pentacles. This is also great energy for like beginning a business. Because I feel like a lot of times the emperor is like the business owner. And I don't need to know everything there is to know. I just need to move forward. Right? Believe in myself. And this feels like the universe is like, you're like giving you the way somehow, some way. And off you go. Maybe that's the path some of you have been on. And we have these two kings. Interesting. You know, I don't know why this just popped in my mind, but 
for some, it may be like, I don't know which king. Well, I don't have the Empress, but <clears throat> I don't know why, why am I losing my voice? All right. We have the Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Four of Cups, discontentment, boredom. Look at this person. Like sad. Like, you know, but there is a cup. And it's like the cup is coming down. You know, I feel like from it's divine, like a divine cup. It, the lesson is in here is like using your own spiritual discernment. You know, it's kind of given us a look into some lives where, you know, there's something like maybe in a, at least in an emotional way, maybe I'm not feeling happy, but I feel like what, what it's doing is mentally like putting these blocks in front of me. And, you know, just like in the Four of Cups where you have to use your spiritual discernment, you know, it's like whether you're going to use that Ace of Pentacles, that, four, that Ace of Cups that's coming in. Take it to your advantage through the full. All right. Interesting. Okay, we do have the full looking at the Page of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles here, and they're connected with the Ace of Pentacles. So, that could be happening. Happened in my life. Age of Pentacles, over the Age of Swords. You know, I feel like there's something that you've been through where, you know, no doubt it couldn't have been easy. But I feel like, you know, I feel like this reading is saying over and over, like, there's a, there's a lesson to learn in it, you know, that... And it's not about judgment, it's really about growth. You know, like that's what lies on the other side of that blindfold. Maybe self-realization. Because I feel like the minute, like, that blindfold comes off, it's like, boom, I jump in the fool's energy. And I'm, like, off on some type of an adventure. And I have the Ace of Pentacles behind me. And now, this cup, I kind of want to look behind it. Seven of Wands. Mm. Seven of Wands. Mm. Could have been like fighting type energy. Defending one's actions.
I feel like the fool is about, like, but I gotta leave the past in the past and just take the wisdom, like, what I have learned. Because I feel like it's somewhere, somehow, it's gonna benefit you. Some of you could be heading towards some like-minded energy. You know what I mean? Like people or person that is more like you than different. Well, all right. We have the Page of Cups. Interesting. Over the Page of Pentacles. Hmm. First of all, it feels like, uh, the first thing I want to say is it feels like, for some of you, it feels like a life's lesson. And that means like the learning of that lesson, or at least maybe the, you know, the letting go of it. Is like the learning of the lesson. I can't help recognize that the Page of Cups is like surrounded by the Page of Pentacles. And what comes out with it's the Three of Swords over the Fool. So, you know, definitely this is talking about people who are taking some things deeply. But the Fool is like, I feel at the same time, it's like, well, here's this cup. And I can either or. That's, you know, I feel like in the fool's energy, it doesn't have to mean like I'm completely healed. Um, all is, you know, like I'm right at that forgiveness level. It just means that I'm not going to allow it to stop me, you know, from what's the next adventure. There's always something next. We don't think so until we're on to the next. And that's what the feel the fool feels like, you know. And I love that, you know, the Ace of Pentacles is like right there supporting the fool. Interesting. We have the lovers. Hmm. Um. First of all, card of Gemini. This is, can be certainly a head over heart decision. I could see that with all the swords. You know, maybe you don't feel like you have the right to have like true happiness in your life. And I don't feel like, you know, I need to seek it, but I do need to seek like, you know, like, I need to be willing to, like, be present. Hmm. Some of you, I don't know, I, it kind of feels like maybe a re, like a reconnection. Let's see what else we have. Look at this, five cups. Interesting. First of all, the first thing I'm going to point out is I noticed how the Eight of Swords went to the Nine of Swords, almost like answering a question. Will it get better? No. So the worry, like, you know, it maybe that's what Mother Mary is saying. It's better to pull yourself up and do what needs to be done, like take off the blindfold, um, understand, like, what you've gained even though, you know, there's recognition of what you've suffered also. You know, it's almost like this person down on their knees. You know, Five of Pentacles really talks about where your focus is at. 
So it's interesting that it's connected to the four of cups. So there's the emotions. Um, the five does speak about change. And, you know, there are two cups, you know, behind the person in the five of cups. I don't know. It's almost like I have to have this faith. We have the four of pentacles, interesting, over the emperor. Saying interesting because we have 44. And, um, I don't know what this brought, why this is coming to my mind, but um, Stacey Ann and one of our subscribers offered me like try her numerology course, and I was just doing life path numbers, and that's what really like got me to do this reading. Like you know, that's what happens if I like watch videos. It just makes me want to do a reading. Um. Why am I saying that? Oh, because I'm just looking at like the master number. So I feel like there's an important soul lesson here. Look at this, the nine of swords. Almost like this king doesn't feel like you will overcome it. You know, he's holding this cup. But I feel like he now worries that you, you know, and it can be the other way around, can't get over something maybe that happened, you know, but then it's the lovers. I mean, through the Ace of Pentacles. And if nothing else, it's chemistry. You know, it's like undeniable. Again, maybe if I break myself free, maybe that's exactly what's on my path. Because I feel like this king, like here's this cup coming in. He's holding this cup. But I do feel like his worry, I'm saying he can be he, she. All right, we have interesting the nine. Or I mean, the ten of swords. Wow. And then we have the star. Shoot, like I don't know how you make a wish in some of this energy. It's it's hard. But that's what it's about. I don't know. I feel like for some of you, you know, I just feel like there's energy that's approaching you or an opportunity that's opening, you know, whether you choose to accept it or not. Um, it does feel like for some it is of the past, but You know, I feel like it kind of feels like, like, you know, if you go forward, I feel like um, there's a lot of worry that you can let go of. And, you know, plus the foal with the lovers, both, I feel like, have to overcome. Could be definitely be a repeat pattern, you know? Is someone evolving? Will someone evolve? It's interesting how I feel it both ways. Huh. Um, 
I want to look at, by the way, star cards here. So card of Aquarius, number one. Um, you know, I feel like deep down, this is something that I really want to come, I want to come true. I want it to come true. But I do feel like there's need. You know, there's going to be a need to put the walls down, trust your intuition, um, believe in, I don't know, the unbelievable. You know, I almost feel like two people are putting out the same energy and therefore it keeps bouncing back and forth. If that makes sense. But maybe we want the same thing. I feel like in the stars energy is about working hand in hand with divine. You know what I mean? Like it really is about where your intentions are at. And right now I have the star right next to the nine of swords and the five of cups. You know, that is... hard energy to manifest from. It's almost like I expect bad things to happen, and they do. But, again, I feel like who has control over that? You do. Something that you learned. Maybe both. Who knows? We know how the lovers connected to this page of pentacles. Um, I want to look at the two kings. We have the moon. Hmm. Moon, the feminine. Uh, Carter Pisces. Ruler of Cancer. You know, it's kind of like uncertain. You know, it reminds me of like the magic eight ball and you, you asked it a question and you shook it and it come up like, you know, the future is uncertain, something like that. I feel that because I feel like a lot of it's up to each individual and what they, the energy they put out. You know, it's almost like becoming comfortable in the uncertainty because it's like, as the fool is learning, it's that present moment energy is like taking that ace. Um, I don't feel like it's a one-time thing. I feel like it, if you're on the right path, I feel like it just follows. And, you know, I don't even know the fool is thinking like, Oh, I wonder if the lovers is coming in. Maybe. I don't know. You know, I feel like that's why I feel like today feels dreary and that's what I feel over here. Like it feels dark and dreary and but something was pulling me to do a reading. I feel that energy in the reading. But I also feel the other side. Oh, I went down on my lap. Look at this. We have the Ace of Cups to the Ten of Cups. You know, I have to say, 
if this has anything to do about love, I feel like what it's saying is you've got to follow your heart. And that may mean allowing my heart to heal from what was. You know what I mean? And because I feel like you can't follow your... Again, I'm, I'm learning about life paths and everything. And, I'm, and I feel like I can't live my true life's desire or purpose if I, get, if I allow myself to get stuck. You know, not that you don't have every reason. But... You know, maybe these chapters, these nines, it's like, you know, first of all, the progression from the eight to the nine to the ten. Also, karma. You know, sometimes it's like we're learning karmic lessons, and that may talk, that may be what it's talking about, because I feel like there's real soul growth. On the other side. It feels like that's where everything changes. On the other side. Can I get there? How interesting that. We're looking at the kings, we get the moon, the ace of cups to the ten of cups. You know, the king could be one person for sure. Um, and I have to say, I do like the balance of cups and pentacles. But the ace of cups is like right in between. So again, I don't know, maybe got to go back to the lovers ahead of a hard decision. I feel like the head is not serving you. It feels like it's working against you. You know what I mean? Because um, I feel like it's really going to be like the seeds that you plant, right? Jumping in full energy, you know, taking a leap of faith. Doesn't mean, again, going far. It just means I'm willing to take a step into it. Right? Like... I don't know. I do feel for some, there may be someone who has like seen their own ways. You know what I mean? That might be why I'm feeling like mirrored energy, but kind of like opposite at the same time. Because I feel like the King of Cups is like worried. You know, maybe if I give this cup that you would just say no. And you would if you're in the Eight of Swords. Five of Cups is about focus. Fo where you're asking yourself what am I focusing on? Where am I focusing on the past? Five is about change, allowing trans you know yourself to transform. It feels like I'm not so happy anyway. And here comes this cup. Well, here it is. You know, I feel like maybe I gotta believe, you know, in dreams again in a way. But also think about like where, what energy am I manifesting from? You know, in a way, it kind of feels like a love story. It feels like a difficult one. Um, but maybe like, maybe the lessons are deep. But then so is the wisdom. So, true. I don't know. Um, let's look up at the lovers. Yeah. 
We have the wheel, destiny. Well, that kind of that kind of um, attaches you to you know eternity. We have the Knight of Wands. So look at that. Fast moving energy, passionate energy. Um, usually desirable energy, but it can come too fast. We have the Five of Swords. Hmm. And then we have the Tower. Uh, right away, I can feel like there's something about a repeat. Like, I feel like this is not the first time, maybe in lifetimes, that we've gone through this tower. You know, kind of, I, I kind of feel like past lives. Also, like, you know, you've gone through similar things. Maybe this lifetime, you're here to conquer that. You know, it's almost like the Five of Swords touching the lovers. I'm like, this is what's toxic to these lovers. And it could lie, like, within learning, expanding, taking opportunities. First of all, on you. Because, again, I feel like the fool, I'm just kind of going on my merry old way. You know, and maybe that's why I felt like joy. I felt like, well, that's kind of a question. Will I allow it or, you know, will I not? Hmm. Kind of interesting, we have the Page of Cups and we have the King of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles and we have the King of Pentacles. So I feel like it's different stories, but probably pretty similar. Um, but, you know, it, it is thoughts. I feel like it's it's within our, it's, it's because of what happened, things that have happened, but it's how hmm, toxicity can get in the way. And I feel like that may be the lesson. I got to think about what I'm thinking about. And, you know, I got to take a chance on me. Let destiny play its part. You know, what lies on that will, the Ace of Cups, but also the Three of Swords. So I feel like I can't say, like, woe is me here, back here, you know, and think that, you know, what's coming is a lesson. Well, what was was a lesson to get you ready for what was, what is coming. You know what I mean? Because each time you expand, if you allow yourself, But I definitely feel like it's within the swords that through the lifetimes have like affected these lovers. So communication, repeat patterns, um, doesn't feel like passion. It doesn't feel like chemistry. That feels like it's all there. Doesn't it feels like love is all there? It feels like you know, hmm. but we have the wheel, so there's that, there's destiny's, um. Lesson, you know, but then again, blessing.
Okay. I think what I'm going to do is take the Romance Angels. Because I feel this is talking about love. You know, however it shows. Definitely feel the energy of like couples who it's almost like, you know, we share the same karmic lesson and that is not to be toxic, you know, to communicate badly, to cause all this worry, you know, the opposite of what, like, probably our soul wants. And it might be a hard lesson to learn. You know, but yet I feel like in the Five of Cups, it could certainly be energy of, for some of you, I don't know, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Optimism, joy, the full. Oh, it just kind of slipped out. Engagement, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. You know, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I feel like there's a real opportunity for certain, let's just say lovers, couples, um, soul connected, so soulmates, twin flames. I feel like there's some real, like, karmic lessons that maybe as a couple you had to learn and maybe on your own, you know what I mean, individually or together. You know, you're doing it to each other type energy. Or it's just something that's happening in your life over and over. You know, I feel like it's still, I got to be in the fool's energy. Um you know, have the realization of like looking at these swords and how they only progress, but they start within a self-created prison. So the walls that I build. You know. I mean, just think about like if a relationship came back together and I was in the eight of swords of eight of swords of energy, eight of swords energy, you know, where I have all these walls built up, It'd be very hard for someone to like, you know, I feel like you would deny it. And, you know, I feel like there's a lot of energy of self here. Hmm. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations who knows who knows who knows keep an open mind 
you know, because the Eight of Swords is not an open mind. Honeymoon. Interesting. Engagement. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Interesting. Feels like, okay, well that's soon. You know, I feel like you don't know what lies ahead until you get there um you know i think it just sam and i story right never i didn't didn't expect it um happened out of the blue and here we are now living together you know what i mean like why you know like i didn't leave my previous partner for Sam, I left on my own. And then two weeks after that is when Sam called out of the blue. Um, by the way, who was, you know, of my much younger years. So, you know, if maybe if I didn't do what I needed to do, you know, and I think also being a Virgo, um, because I remember when I first got together with the person I stayed with for 25 years, Sam did call me and ask me out, but the person I was with was standing right there and, you know, he had hard, he had hard, had a hard life and I thought, I, I can't do it. I can't, I can't hurt him like that. You know what I mean? Because I also feel like he was meant to come to my life at a certain time. You know what I mean? And me, him. Like, it's almost like we helped save each other from the hell, you know, that my life was before that. Because that's when my life changed, got better and better and better. Why am I telling you that? Well, because, first of all, it was right, you know, meeting him was like right after I took one of the biggest leaps I could take. After a time that was, you know, and I have to tell you, who had to take that leap? It had to be me. Nobody was coming to do it for me. Nobody was going to help me. I had to do what I had to do. And I did it. You know, against all odds. And my life ended up working out. Changed completely. So, you know, I feel like I do feel like, you know, that our time apart was meant to happen because I felt like I was meant to experience certain things and he was meant to experience th certain things, you know, but we did go through the breakup. Keep an open mind. I feel like it's saying you just never know. And, I mean, I wasn't asking for it, wasn't looking for it. I was just busy working. Interesting, because from that moment on, like, my life changed. You know, it was him and I on the phone for hours, you know, every single night. And he called me at work a lot. 
It's funny, I told him the other day, I said, you used to get me in trouble because you kept calling me at work. But, had I not done what I did, probably none of this would be. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. All right, one more, one more shuffle. You know, when you see the lover's head over heart, that's what this reading feels like. Am I going to follow my head? Am I going to follow my heart? And I feel like that's relating to, like, maybe all areas of your life. You know, following your dreams. You know, but just, even if you don't know how, like, just stepping into it. You know, like numerology, I've always wanted to learn more. And today I thought, you know what, I'm going to start taking, listen to the course. Um, really, so I can learn more for you guys. Why am I telling you that? I don't know. My interest was piqued. So it may open up a whole new avenue. Anyway, playfulness. Playfulness. The opposite of the swords. You know, it's just the opposite. It's loving, it's openness, it's it's heart to hearts, you know, it's enjoying the romantic feelings. It's allowing it to go where it wants to go, you know, and enjoying the playful moments, like the nows. like here is the ace of cups and it can go to the ten of cups that's the thing but it feels like again like you know your love life is ascending but I feel like but not if I'm in the swords that feels like it'll just repeat even it has nothing to do with the other lover it's for yourself. You know what I mean? And again, maybe each needed to go through it themselves. But it definitely feels a lot connected. So, you know. Hmm. I could see some blended families. You know, I, I have to tell you, I just feel the major thing I feel about this, this reading is, is breaking free of the Eight of Swords, freedom, and freedom for myself following my dreams, my passions, and being open to whatever, you know, whatever is part of your will, you know, because I feel like by breaking free means you've learned, and it could talk about even forgiveness, you know, forgiveness of self, forgiveness of another. You know, the Five of Cups really talks about the promise of the Two of Cups, but not without change. And I don't know, I just feel like, um, I feel like these couples are just like, I don't know, like, I just feel like you're meant to be, you're meant to be, it's just like these lessons, they can be learned, and they can then be gone, 
you know, and it may have taken lifetimes, maybe three. And it definitely feels like it's in the area of swords, you know, air, communication, truth. Maybe even the cutting off truth, you know, communication, whatever it may be. I feel like um, it's just something to learn from that. And maybe each in their own time. I don't know. But I feel like the promise of the Eight of Cup, uh, the Ace of Cups, because remember, it's mirroring not only destiny, but also the Fool. So if we've done this before, maybe this time the answer is being open, you know, optimistic. Allow this to expand and not deplete. Let it be playful, romantic. Lovers, very romantic type energy. You know, and I feel like some are going to be like, Sandy, you have no clue. I kind of feel like I do. Um, you know, when I advise that for everyone, I feel like this is why you're going to use your spiritual discernment, you know. Because I feel like you would recognize, you probably do recognize the lesson. You know what I mean? Or, again, maybe both. Hmm. All right. I think I wanted to, a, I don't know why I don't want to end the reading. I'm going to do Mother Mary. I almost feel like I'm doing a blessing over these couples. That energy be like cleared. Some of you may have no clue you know, who's coming upon your path. And, you know, it could be someone completely different than you even expect. But it, like, seems to start with your optimism. You know, it's like in the Four of Cups. Instead of, like, doing nothing, I'm going to, you know, it moves into the Five of Cups. Focusing on the past. You know, these two cups lie beyond the change. We have faith. Interesting. Faith. I have faith in God to heal situation. Wow. You know, it's funny because I said I wanted you to do a blessing. I have faith in God to heal this situation. And I feel like a lot of this is, is, you know, in the thought system, mentally. Um, but past lives, I feel it deeply. Um, karmic lessons, I feel it. But then I also feel the freedom on the other side, you know. Like, if we can, if it can be, or maybe I myself can be, like, open emotionally. Um, and that means just trusting your intuition. You know, that's what the fool does. Like, you know, I'm going to take a leap of faith because I feel it. I can feel it. The guidance. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there. Hmm.
Mm, interesting. I feel like I kind of feel like it's unfinished, but at the same time, I feel like it's it's such like it's a perspective that maybe you either get it or you don't. I don't know. I don't know. But I feel like I asked for a blessing. I have faith in God to heal this situation. Well, that's perfect. Because then I feel like, then, like, first of all, your love life ascends to a higher level. Then you enter a romantic and playful type energy. You know, honeymoon, the unexpected, but also holiday time together. Oh, that's right around the corner. Optimism, joy, faith. Interesting, the Ace of Cups, two, the Ten of Cups, star, manifesting. But like with divine, right? And it's over the sword, so again, I got to be careful of that. I'm not wishing for these swords, but you know, just feels limited. So anyway, anyway, I'm going to let that be. Thank you guys. I love you. Um, I still don't know. Like, I, I can't put a like sign to this, um, a title, because I feel like it's for whoever it's for. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you'll either recognize yourself in this reading, understand part of it, like you'll resonate, your guides will like, like point it out to you in a way. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to tie it away. I definitely feel past lives, so I'm definitely going to have something about past lives. All right, guys. I love you. I thank you. Thank you. For, um, you know what? I can't wait to read your comments because you'll help give me more clarity. Um, I'm pretty clear on what it's saying and the energy it's talking about, but you'll definitely give me more clarity. And, and I also feel like you help others in the comment section. So thank you. Um, thank you really in all the ways you support my channel through your donations. It's what really re keeps the channel alive. Um, you know, thank you for just let me doing these type of readings. And, you know, I like, I just trust that you find yourself in them. You know, I'm like, I just connected. So I feel like your guides will make sure that you get this reading, you know, however you come across it. Or it comes across to you. So anyways. I'm going to let that be guys. I love you. I thank you. See you next time at our table. Bye bye.